I am the woman, dark, repaired, healed, listening to you. I would give to the human race only hope. I am the woman. I think one of the things that I really focused on and looking back at the trajectory of my work and the body of my work has been a commitment to um, social justice, to equality, uh, to visibility uh, of uh, people who don't normally get their stories told on mainstream media. So I think that that would be one of the things that I feel I've achieved as a filmmaker in bringing these marginal stories into the mainstream. One of my films that I made with the Pulitzer Prize winning novelist Alice Walker was called Warrior Marks. And the film was about the very difficult and taboo subject at the time of female genital mutilation. The film actually, you know, for me it was a kind of modest little film, but the incredible global impact it ended up having was such an eye opener in terms of the sort of power of media to create change. So, you know, the whole language in which we were talking about uh, it within the film uh, about female genital mutilation being a human rights issue was something that hadn't been talked about in those terms. Um, so I think that for me that was an incredible achievement to really change the language and the discourse around this really horrific issue and make it a human rights issue. I was the first person in my family to ever go to university. I come from an immigrant family, a working class immigrant family. And so the experience of actually going to university in itself was a huge big leap um, and culturally kind of shocking. I'd never left home before. Um, but I found in Bradford, and particularly on the course that I did, both in terms of the professors and the tutors and the other students, a kind of a home um, where I actually, I feel I really flourished and I began to come out of my kind of very shy, you know, nobody believes me now when I say, you know, I'm actually very shy. <laughs> it's like, really? Yeah, sure. But, I, you know, I was very shy when I first went and, um, and was very kind of shy about speaking in seminars or talking up. Um, but I think the course, what the course did and what being at Bradford University helped me do was find my own voice. I spent three months with Mother Teresa in Calcutta. Um, and I would say that that was the experience that kind of flipped my life around, flipped my mind around, um, emotionally completely churned me up. And it was, you know, I was this naive 20 year old and I came face to face with the, some of the most intense poverty in the world. Uh, one day I was um, watching all these films on a series called American Masters that goes out on PBS. And all of these stories were about American men who have made an impact on American culture and the ways in which they've shaped American culture. But there were very little, if any, stories about women intellectuals, women shapers of cultures, women who created histories um, and so the obvious thing for me the question was why hasn't anyone made a film about Alice Walker I mean Alice Walker is a daughter of sharecroppers who grew up in a shack on a plantation in the south in Georgia and from that humble beginnings to then go on to write over 30 books make history as the first African-American woman to win the Pulitzer Prize for her novel Rebellious. The Color Purple was an incredible story and I wanted to tell that story and so Alice Walker Beauty and Truth is the film about her life. Blooming gloriously for itself.